Unit 8, Video Lecture 1, Mole Ratios and the Balanced Equation. Here we're going to look at the math that's associated with our balanced equation. And the study of this quantitative relationship between reactants and products is known as stoichiometry. So our balanced equation is going to give us some pieces of information. If we look at the skeleton equation, Fe plus O2 yields Fe2O3, pause the video and balance this equation. Now that we have the balanced equation, we can determine some relationships. First off, if we consider iron, this 4 can tell us that there are 4 atoms of iron. The 3 tells us that there are 3 molecules of oxygen. And we know that the 2 tells us that there's 2 formula units of Fe2O3. Remember this one, this is a formula unit because it's an ionic compound. So, what we can also derive is that the coefficients also tell us that there are four moles of iron. So four moles of iron react with three moles of oxygen, and that will produce two moles of iron two oxide. We can also say that the total mass of iron is 4 times 55.85. So the total mass of iron is 222 or 223.4 grams. The total mass of oxygen is 96 grams. And the total mass of iron 2 oxide is 319.4 grams. And what we can see is 223.4 plus 96. Our total mass of the reactants, 319.4 grams, is equal to the total mass of the products, 319.4 grams. So here we see the law of conservation of mass holds true. This is why we can make that assumption about our four moles, our three moles, and our two moles. It's because when we add up the reactants and products, we get something similar. So, let's look at another one. The four in front of Na tells us that there are four atoms of sodium. The 1 in front of the oxygen tells us that there's one molecule of oxygen. And what unit are we going to use for Na2O? Since it's an ionic compound, we say that there's two formula units of Na2O. O2 is a molecule because it's covalently bonded, and sodium is all by itself, so it's an atom. So what we can see here is the same coefficients are going to tell us the number of moles of each of our substances as well. So four moles of sodium, one mole of oxygen, and two moles of sodium oxide. If we consider our mass, the mass of four moles of sodium is 91.96 grams. The mass of one mole of oxygen is 32.00 grams. The mass of Na2O two moles of sodium oxide is 123.96 grams. 
So again, we see 91.96 plus 32. If we add these two together, we get 123.96. Pause the video lecture and fill out this chart concerning the following chemical reaction. They're all molecules because they're all covalently bonded. This is a covalent compound. This is a diatomic molecule. We have a covalent compound and a covalent compound. So they are all molecules. The coefficients in front of each of the compounds tell us the number of moles that are present here. And when we look at the masses of each, we see that 160 plus 44.11 is 204. So we have a total of 204.11 grams of reactants. And when we look at the total mass of the products, we see that it's 204. 0.11 grams. So we still have the law of conservation of matter working. Now, this, the moles of each of the substance, is what we're going to use as our basis for, our, uh, for stoichiometry. And what we're going to use these moles for is we're going to be able to create mole ratios. It's the ratio of the number of moles of any two substances in a balanced equation. And that's the key, that it has to be a balanced equation. So here on this side, we see two atoms of aluminum, two atoms of aluminum. Three times two is six atoms of bromine, and two times three, which is six atoms of bromine in the product. So this is a balanced this is a balanced equation. So, if we wanted to look at the relationship between aluminum and its other reactant, bromine, we can write a mole ratio that says that there's two moles of aluminum to three moles of bromine. Since it's a ratio, we can write it the other way as well, saying three moles of bromine over two moles of aluminum. We can take aluminum and compare it to aluminum bromide. So two moles of aluminum will produce two moles of AlBr3. And again, since it's a ratio, we can write two moles of AlBr3 over two moles of aluminum. We can then compare the amount of bromine to aluminum bromide. So three moles of bromine over two moles of aluminum bromide. Or two moles of aluminum bromide over three moles of bromine. And again, all we're doing all we're doing is we're taking the coefficients of our substances and putting them into a ratio. So, pause the video lecture and determine all of the following mole ratios from the following equation. 